All right, brothers and sisters. I'm going to give you guys this, this lecture, this teaching. And this is stuff they don't teach in school. You guys know this. Most the majority of things, bro, that we teach, in fact, all the things we teach, all the things we teach is not going to be taught in school, which is crazy. Because they teach you in school such shallow things. And, of course, there's things you should know in school. You should know how to read. You should know how to write. You should know how to do math. You should know how to be fit. They teach you sports at a young age, stuff like that. There's, 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 there's important things in school, but there's even more and less important things in school. And we just wish the school system, systems would get better. That We just wish the schools would teach more beneficial things. Because they don't teach nothing that's actually going to better you in life. Only basics. They teach you the bare minimum, bro. The basics in school. It goes to show how much they know. Which is not much. But anyways. Let's get with this video. So how to eliminate negative thoughts and self-doubt because if you're about that real life growth you're going to experience an overwhelming amount of these things it's just a part of life it's just what it is but if there's things you understand you can limit thing you you can limit these things so much bro like so much for one where you're at right now does not define you at all. Where you're currently at, where you currently stand in life, that's not the end. It's not who you are. If you're in school right now and you have no hope in hell for anything and things are just so bad and you don't like school and all this, don't worry. You're young. It's not the end of the world. That's not your final destination. Bro, there's people that went through their 20s, addicted to drugs, was a nobody, was was going crazy, and they come out on top, bro, multi-millionaires. You can do anything at any time. At literally any time, you can do anything. It only takes a couple years to really change your life. You could have nothing, no education, nothing. You could be at bare, you could be broke, you could have no education, you could be at bare minimum, nothing. It only takes a couple years to change your life. In a couple years, you could be making six figures plus. In a couple years, you could be doing anything. Anything. With some next level grind and sacrifice. But that's the whole thing. You can do anything in just a couple years. When are you willing to sit your ass down and say, I am ready to do this? I'm going for this every day of my life, like a good addiction. Because if you're going to get addicted to anything in light, bro, be addicted to the grind. Every day, every day, every day. You find your way. You catch your second wins. You do your things. You stay healthy. You stay fit. You stay motivated. How you do one thing is how you do everything. If you're disciplined in one thing, you're probably going to be disciplined in everything. So, keeping promises you make to yourself is also something that's going to eliminate negativity and self-doubt. Because if you make pro if you even break little promises to yourself on a daily basis, bro, that's going to severely diminish your confidence. If you tell yourself, I'm going to go to the gym today, and you feel good and everything, then you don't go to the gym, your confidence is going to plummet. Maybe not even on that day, but the next day, the next day after that, the next day after that, and so on and so forth. It's just the way it is. So even breaking little promises to yourself is going to crush your confidence. But doing what you say you're going to do it's going to raise your confidence so high. So high. Even if you do little shit, bro, like I'm telling you, man. If you say, you know, well, yeah, I'm gonna go hang out with my friend today. We made this plan. Yeah, we're gonna meet up and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna hang out. We're gonna we're gonna go for a drive in town, we're gonna go to the mall, we're gonna get some shit done, you know? 
run some errands. And then you don't go, you flake. Even little shit like that, bro. Oh, I got tired. I don't really want to go now. I changed my mind. It's even little things like that, bro. Because guess what? Your friend was planning on fucking getting shit done. And now you flaked. It's little shit like that. You tell your mate, yeah, let's go shoot pool tonight. And then you don't go and shoot pool. Because you got tired or some lame excuse. It's breaking little promises like that. It means everything. It means more than you know. Oh, it's no big deal. It is a big deal. Bro, I made plans with people before, and I'm telling you, bro. I show up. I show the F up. I don't ruin other people's days. I'm mindful about others, bro. I made plans before with people early in the day. Ended up having a migraine come night. Still showing up with them, literally got, got in the car and put my head down, was just like, fuck. Got a headache, man. Shit. I'm like, you sure you want to go and all this stuff? And I'm like, we're going to go. So I literally show up, we'd shoot pool, we'd go out. And it's things like that, man. It's little things. I'm not going to ruin someone else's day. For anything. You say you're going to do something, bro, you do it. You do it. It's called being strong minded. It's strong being a good honest. It's called being a good honest person. Even before, when I was younger, bro, I was a teenager at this time, probably 17, 18 years old. I had the car and I had two of my mates over at my place. And it was me and it was them two. And we were planning on going to this massive party with a DJ and everything that night. And I got sick, bro. I mean sick. Went to the hospital and everything. And I couldn't make it to the party that night because it was that bad. But I gave these motherfuckers my car, bro. They didn't have their license. I gave them my car to drive to that party by themselves. Because I'm not a party pooper, bro. I'm going to keep the ball rolling for other people. I'm going to allow shit to happen. Come hell or high waters. I'm not going to ruin their night. I'm not going to ruin their, you know. I'm going to keep things going. I'm going to make that sacrifice. A lot of trouble could have happened. As you guys know. A lot of trouble could have happened with that. They could have crashed the damn car. They could have got pulled over and got busted. My car could have got towed. But I allow this to happen. Cause, and because of me, they're nice. We're not going to be ruined. Because it was either I'm going to go, or you know what? I'm going to allow something to happen, and I'm going to make the sacrifice so they can continue their nights. And it's stuff like that, bro, so... And that's just a random thing, but it's about keeping promises you make to yourself. You don't. It has to be something very severe, bro. That in itself would have been, like, almost a good enough excuse for it not to happen, but I found a way to make it happen for them so they could have enjoyed their evening and not just sat in my place while I'm sick in bed and whatever. Ruin the whole Saturday night. School the next week. Whatever. But... You know, it's about making sacrifices. And if you're not willing to sacrifice, you're not willing to do anything. I'm willing to sacrifice. I'm willing to take chances. That's the kind of guy I am. I take chances in life. I take risks in life. These guys were completely stupid people. Like, I trusted them driving my car. One guy had his beginners. But we were all pretty young. Good enough. Off you go. <laughs> but yeah, man. Keep promises you make to yourself. It is so very important. When you don't keep promises you make to yourself and you're easy, you're just an easy, flaky person. <laughs> Your confidence is low, bro. I'm going to tell you something right now. 
by nature, women flake a lot because they're naturally not the most confident people. They can say they are, but bruh, men are way more confident than women naturally. That's why you get a lot of women haters. And it's true, man. It's just true. I'm not saying every woman's, woman is like this, but who typically flakes a lot? Women. They always say they're gonna show up and do something and then they, then they don't. They can show up too, they do. But a lot of the time, and I'm not even speaking from my own experience, if you look at the world and you see how many guys, like, bro, the amount of calls I do with guys that tell me, yeah, bro, I was supposed to go on this day with this woman and it was all planned out and I got ready and uh, I did all this stuff. And then she flaked and it didn't happen. It sucked. And just stuff like that, you know what I mean? It happens all the time, bro. So if you have mates that are doing this, bro, it's terrible. It shows their confidence is at about zero. You don't keep promises you make to yourself. And if you're doing it with little things, what do you think you're going to do with big things? If you make big commitments in life, what do you think you're going to do? You're going to break your promises. Clearly. It hurts your self-esteem even doing little things that you are going to do but you don't follow through with. You were supposed to do a certain amount of work. You don't do it. Bro, I'm going to tell you something right now too for an example. Sometimes, bro, I'll be up to like 5 in the morning. And a fuller, I do a bit of carpentry work with because he works by himself most of the time, but sometimes he needs a hand and he'll ask me because I'm flexible with my schedule and it works perfect. This guy will pay me a lot of money to help him just a little bit in cash, no checks, no government bullshit. And it works out well. I don't even mind helping him. Sometimes I'll be up till five in the morning, bro, because I can't sleep and I wasn't really ready for it, but he'll text me the day before and ask if I can come for 7 a.m., 8 a.m. or something like this. And I'll still be up in the evening till 5 a.m., bro. I'll get two or three hours sleep max. Guess who's going to show up on two or three hours sleep? This guy. Because I'm not going to tell nobody I'm going to do something and then not do it. I show the fuck up, bro. How I feel, it's bigger than that. It's bigger than that. I'm just an honest person, man. I'm not going to say I'm going to do certain things and then not do them. That's just how I am. It's like anything. I could be tired as hell and have to go to the dentist at a particular time. I'm not going to not go. I'm going to go. Like, it could be anything at all. You keep promises you make to yourself. People flake all the time. Are you going to be the separator? Because this is going to make you so much more of a confident person than the majority of people in the world. More than 90 some percent of the people in the world. Because most people make excuses, bro. And lame excuses. You don't even have a good excuse. You don't even have a good excuse. Some people are perfectly fine and they'll make an excuse to back out on a plan or, or something like this. So if you want to limit those things, number one, keep the promises you make to yourself. Your confidence will be through the roof. Through the roof, bro. There's times I'm hella tired. I'm tired right now, for God's sake. There's times I'm hella, because I'm just waking up. There's times I'm hella tired and I'm still doing the work. I feel exhausted, I'm still doing the work. If people felt how I felt, they'd be laying on the ground with their eyelids shut. They collapse. It's stuff like that. It boosts your confidence. When you, when you work like when you work so hard in the run of a 24-hour period, bro, you, you you do something with the with the standard of life. Cuz when you do something extremely hard, everything else becomes so much easier. Like what you just went through, bro, was a nightmare. Let's be real. It was hard as hell. You had a hard as hell day. Everybody had one of those days. It was hard as hell. You worked so hard. You did so many things and you were so tired. When you have a day like that, bro, it makes every other day like a cakewalk. 
easy. That's going to raise your confidence. Going through hell or high waters. That's going to raise your confidence. I remember getting seasick one day trying to fish heron with my uncle. Nightmare. I didn't think I could get seasick. I was laughing then, bro. I was laughing. They were telling me, you might want to take these these grab all with you, Joel, because you, you, you might get seasick. And I'm just laughing at them, bro. I don't get seasick. <laughs> I don't get seasick. All of a sudden, I'm fucking seasick. Because I fished a bunch of my life. I did a bunch of things in my life. And I don't have a weak stomach. I have a strong stomach. I can go on with the, any carnival rides you, you think of. I can take anything. But this was different. Because we had to sleep out there in the boat at night. And the boat was going like this all night. And I never experienced that before. Because I never slept out in a boat. I fished during the day. And went out to sea in boats. I didn't spend all night in the boat. Laying down, sleeping. And the boat's going like this all night. <laughs> I never slept a wink. When I had to get up at 4 a.m., and my feet touched the floor. My head was just spinning, bruh. And I started puking. As soon as I got up, I stood up, put my boots on, walked up, walked up the little set of stairs onto the boat, and I was puking. And I was puking from that point until the very end of the day, until we got back to shore. And by the end of the day, I was dry heaving, bruh. I was like, like I was like making the puking sounds without actually anything coming out and it was it was crazy bro I had to fish that whole day and do the job the whole day while I'm puking over the side I'm still fishing I'm still working and I'm I'm puking my head's just boop 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 big heartbeat in my fucking head my head's pounding I'm puking and I have to I have to fish because this is a job you cannot do by yourself two people have to do it and it was just me and him there was not a third guy on. So, it was a nightmare. And that day set a bar for me, bruh. I'm telling you, when I got home, recovered, drank some water, ate some food, completely rested for like two days straight, bruh, everything else after that was easy. Having a hard day, man, will boost your confidence in life. Could you imagine getting kidnapped and tortured and crazy shit happening to you just crazy shit going through that starving damn near no one's feeding you you're being abused whatever you can go through the crazy shit in life bro and could you imagine how easy everything would be let's say you escape let's say you get back to normalcy your normal life again everything else would be easy bro I'm telling you man having hard days Having a hard day is going to be the best thing for you. It's going to boost your confidence. It's going to make you work on a different level because everything else is easy compared to what you went through. These are things that's going to boost your confidence, bro. I'm telling you guys right now. And to limit like negative thoughts comes with action come like it all translates into the same things here guys everything to do with your actions in life is going to make or break you so if you're taking a lot of action in life and you're always busy you're always focused on something you're always doing something and you get your rest on point you get your you get your work on point you get everything prior prioritized you get everything on point you're not even going to have time to think of negative things you're going to be so on point. You're going to be so busy. You're going to be in the moment doing your thing all day, every day, bro. You're not going to have time to sit around and ponder and think about negative thoughts. Oh, no, that bitch fucked me over. And oh, 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 oh. It don't matter. You don't even have time. You're living a lit life. You don't have time to think about negative things, bro. Because you're on your shit all the time. You're becoming more successful all the time. You're living a better life all the time. You're raising the bar all the time. These things will, will make you a much more confident person. The most confident people in the world are always busy. They're busy with something. That's why you see people in a good mood out and about and they're, and they're confident, they're doing their thing. 
they worked all day, they're, they're still in a good mood and stuff like this because they know they're doing the right things. When you know you're doing the right things, bro, you're going to be in a good mood. And of course, you're not going to be in a good mood 24-7. You could be doing all the right things and still be in a bad mood because you could just be having that day where you're coming down off something or something like this. But like for the most part, bro, when you keep promises you make to yourself and you work hard, you're in the moment, you're going to eliminate negative thoughts. And you're going to be a positive person. You're going to be doing positive things and getting shit done. And you're not breaking promises to yourself or to others or whatever. It doesn't even matter if it's making, breaking promises to yourself, like I'm not going to go to the gym. If you break promises to other people, you made plans with other people and you break those promises without a damn good excuse, it's going to plummet your self-esteem. You think, you think women that flake on these guys are confident? No. And it's funny because they be trying to gaslight you, bro. They be trying to make it seem like they're all good and all this, but no, they're not. Their self-esteem is low as F. But that's natural for women. Maybe not all. Maybe you're a confident woman, I don't know. But typically women have lower self-esteem, which is why they need attention, which is why they need to be acknowledged and all this kind of stuff. But for the most part, bro, you have to keep promises you make to yourself. Even women, this will help you. I have typically never been flaked on much in my life. It happened. And with the person it happened with, and I don't bring up names, obviously, but this person had low self-esteem. They weren't ready to hang out. So when I see stuff like this happening, bro, I don't go after people. I don't go after people and make them even more or less confident. I just let them go, bruh. We're talking about a good looking female too, bruh. I'm just going to let you go. Because I know you're not confident. It, even if you showed up, it's going to be weird anyways because you feel weird. Because you're not confident. But most women that I've dealt with, bro, in my life, most females i dealt with, they did not flake. And it might have took a long time sometimes, bro. It took me like half a year sometimes to hang out just, just as, with this girl one time. But after that one time, it's like now they'll hang out with you for, for a bit. Because they have to, they're not ready. They got low self-esteem. I'm telling you, bro, this is how it be. But for the women that, that say they're going to do something, bro, and they, and they don't do it. They're not the most confident girl out there. They're just not. They act like the most confident girls when they're the least confident. It's this backwards psychology that I, that I told you guys that I made that video on about these females, bro. They're backwards. They want you to think one thing all while doing the other. They're going to act like they're so confident, so busy with their lives. But yet they made a plan with you they're gonna, and they're going to flake. Don't think because some, some guys think, wow. She's actually confident. She actually don't care about me and all this. Sometimes it's not that way. Sometimes it might be. Sometimes it's not that way. It's actually the other way around because they're doing that backwards psychology bullshit. They make you think one thing while they're doing the other. They pretend, yeah, I'm so busy. I can't really make it and all this stuff. Meanwhile, they're not confident. They could do it, but they're not ready for the moment. But they'll pretend to be all confident over a text cell phone. We can't see you. But that's what they be doing, bruh. <sighs> and with a guy like me, you can't lie about that shit. Because I'm going to see what you're doing. Some guys don't know any better. Oh, bro, she played. Oh, bro. Oh, bro. You can't see the truth. Clear enough, bro. She really ain't confident. She, it's not because of you. She ain't showing up because she's not confident. She's not ready for the moment. Some women have more confidence than others. Some women, they'll hang out with you, bro, in a flick. Most, most females I dealt with, it was that way. They had the confidence enough. And some of them, they even told me in person. 
that I make them a bit nervous. But that's normal. But some of them are not ready for that moment. They're not. So, but anyways, I hope this video give you guys some insight and stuff like this on some truths about positivity, negativity, and stuff like that. How to be more positive, how to do things in life that's going to set a bar. I wrote down a lot of things. I mentioned a lot of things. And I don't think there's much left that I could really speak on. So... We'll call it there and get to the next video. I'm about to get hydrated because I feel, I'm feeling depleted right now. The more I just stay on this video, bro, the more drained I feel right now, to be honest. Um, I'm just waking up, so I'm going to get some water and some food and spike, spike my energy right now as we speak. Let's get this, bro. Let's get this money. Let's get this food. Let's get these liquids. Let's go.